welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today's topic of discussion is Nocturnal Acid Breakthrough, a challenge in GERD management. Now, the overall prevalence of GERD in India usually ranges from 5 to 28.5 percent. The proton pump inhibitors usually play a crucial role in pharmacological therapy for the treatment of GERD. Still, 40% of GERD patients after taking a standard once daily PPI dose report partial or complete lack of response to their symptoms. NAB is the presence of intragastric pH of less than 4 during the overnight period of at least 60 continuous minutes in patients taking a proton pump inhibitor. According to a survey, 8 of 10 GERD patients on PPI still experience nighttime symptoms. So today to discuss further this issue, we have with us Professor Dr. G. Manoharan, former Director, Institute of Surgical Gastroenterology, Government Stanley Medical College, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. He has three decades of teaching, training, MBBS, MBBS, and MCH students in state's premier institutions. Dr. Manoharan has more than 20 publications added to his name. He has received the Young Surgeons Award by Japan Surgical Society in 1995 and also the Best Teacher Award by Tamil Nadu MGR Medical University. He has scientific presentations in national and international conferences with two award-winning papers and he is currently practicing in gastro care clinic in Tenam Pet and Apollo Spectros Hospital, Chennai. He is also the visiting professor at the Department of Surgical Gastroenterology, Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan Medical College, Perambur in Tamil Nadu. We welcome you to Medical Dialogues, sir. So, sir, if you can tell us, why is dual drug rabeprozole required? In the management of GERD, the very distressing disease, more in the younger age group who are having a highly productive periods of their life, disturbing them from their routine work. So we'll have to treat them effectively. Since you give a dose of PPI in the morning, of course it is expected to cover or put off the proton pump inhibitors for a period of 24 hours or more. But what happens is in the night, there is a escape phenomenon from the drug and there is some amount of release of acid happening in the stomach. To counter that, to suppress that, probably we have been adding a molecule called ranitidine as a supplement to the PPI in the night. But in case you can modify the molecule of PPI in such a way that it gets released twice. You take only one tablet, but it gets absorbed in two different sites by the way it is being manufactured. The technology is that the first spell of absorption happens within four hours and it's going to act for some amount of time. The second spell of absorption happens in the distal part of the small intestine, namely the ileum, after a coverage of six to eight hours. So that prolonged action by giving just one tablet, which is going to be absorbed in two different times, in two different places, so that the bioavailability of the PPI is there in the blood to suppress the acid secretion, so that the nocturnal acid breakthrough is also taken care in the management of GERD. So this is a welcome, you no? Know, a molecule because it's a technology that made all the difference the same molecule same mechanism of action but since it is absorbed in two different locations in a different time interval it really helps us to help the patient better okay so coming to talk about this drug if you can explain what is dual drug release drabeprazole that's what i've been explaining so dual release means if you give a ppi it gets absorbed once the preparation is such that it is delivered into the duodenum and proximal part of jejunum. After bypassing the stomach, it gets absorbed. And then it is there as a bioavailable mo molecule within the bloodstream for some point of time. So once the half-life of this molecule is over, then there is no effective 
suppression of acid on the newer appearing proton pumps that's the reason why we used to give another molecule of ppi or ranitidine in, in the night instead of giving two tablets at two different time intervals you give one tablet which gets absorbed twice because the dual release system is helping this to happen so the patient compliance and the doctor preference should be more in favor of this particular molecule which can deliver the same drug in two different locations at different time intervals and also what is the benefit of this dual drug release dabiprazole benefit is obvious by giving one tablet the patient is comfortable and he by mistake there is no need of missing a second tablet because most of the people who come home after heavy work they tend to forget taking another tablet may think that they are taking too much of medicines that's the reason why if you give just one tablet you are just altering the technology and just double the dose instead of 40 mg you give 80 mg in a single tablet so it gets subsorbed twice instead of taking twice you take once but the the output at the end is happening in two 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 times and two places so the cost wise you can be you no know, the overall expenditure cost will be less patient compliance is better and then you know for the doctors also it is saving time to explain that there are two tablets to be taken instead of that probably you can take just one so in all probabilities it will be a patient friendly and the doctor friendly molly great and lastly if you can tell us how does rabeprosol score over other ppis naturally because it is a double strength that itself is going to give us more efficacy and it is going to be released twice in two different parts of the intestine the first spell of absorption happens in the proximal intestine namely the duodenum and proximal jejunum where the absorption will be more rapid and fast so the effect of the drug will be seen by the patient within few hours after the intake when the medicine passes along the entire length of 20 feet of small intestine and reaches towards the end of the small intestine namely the jejunum where the absorption will be slow and steady and it is going to give another spike of concentration of the pantoprazole or the ppi in the blood stream with prolonged half life will help the patient to suppress the acid once again so the coverage will be better it also helps in another way how oh, so after controlling the symptoms when the doctors tend to reduce the dosage what we generally do is when the symptoms are adequately under control then we don't continue the same strength of medicines up to that level maybe after 4 to 6 weeks we tend to reduce the dosage or we tend to alter the frequency what do we do we do give a ppi on alternate days for some period of time and then twice a week or twice a week or on demand because we can't continuously put on ppi all these patients for months together at some point of time we we'll have to taper it but tapering also this ppi with a dual release will help the doctors a comfortably we can taper it off thank you for your valuable insights thank you very much thank you for the opportunity that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon